Hey guys, today's video is about the June box from Palletful Packs. The first item we have is this super cute kawaii sticker. Next, we have an item by Whole Bean called Melts. It's a water-based colored pencil blender that blends and thins colored pencil, except for metallics and soft white. It may not work with other brands of colored pencils, though. This is the All Stabilo colored pencil. It's water-soluble and can be used on paper, glass, plastic, and metal. We have a Princeton Select brush. It's a round brush in a size 4. The star of the show is the set of whole bean artist colored pencils. The colors are pastel and very pretty. The colors are rose, cherry blossom, naples yellow, lettuce green, cobalt green, sky blue, and my favorite, wisteria. These colored pencils are oil based, meaning they're smooth, easy to blend, and can be applied over watercolor, gouache, and acrylic. Up close, you can see the names and code numbers of the pencils. I'm not sure what the stars mean, but six of the pencils have two stars, and the other one has three stars. Last is Crescent Illustration Board in size 8 by 10 inches. There are a total of three. The illustration board is rigid, cold-pressed, and is supposed to be perfect for pencil, pastels, and ink. Time to swatch. Right now, I'm using the Stabilo pencil. After I apply water to it, the color appears more pigmented and moves on the paper easily. Now, I'm swatching the colored pencils and I'm doing it in rainbow color order. I think pink comes after red, but I'm not sure. Anyway, these colors look so pretty together and they seem to blend very nicely together on their own. But to use the melts, all I did was pour a little bit in the cap and dip the brush into it. The first time I used it, I had a little too much on the brush and it dripped on top of the illustration board. So I just used that little bit that fell and mixed it with the Stabilo. And it made the Stabilo seem more rich and pigmented um, than the regular water that I used. So I thought that was interesting. I've seen a lot of beautiful colored pencil art, but colored Pencils are a medium that I don't have a lot of experience with. I've tried in the past to learn how to use them, but I would end up quitting because to use colored pencils, sometimes you have to press really hard, and that makes my hands cramp up. So these whole bean oil-based pencils are supposed to go on smoothly, but I didn't get that from these pencils. So for the June Art Snacks box, I received a Derwent oil-based colored pencil. And that was very awesome to use. It went on the paper very smooth and buttery. And it made me want to give colored pencils another chance. But an oil-based kind. However, I did not get that same experience with the whole bean oil-based pencils. I felt my hands cramping up. I'm not sure why the difference between whole bean and Derwent when they're both oil-based. I think maybe it's because of the surface I'm working on. I mean, this illustration board is way thicker and rigid than regular paper. So, I'm drawing this perfume bottle that I have on my desk. You guys can see that I'm applying the colors very lightly. There's no issue with blending or layering the colors, but when I want to intensify the colors, I have to press a little harder. Fortunately, I have this beautiful purple Wisteria color pencil. And that helps to deepen some of the other colors and add a little bit of contrast. As for the melts, I thought it was okay. Definitely more convenient than using a colorless blender pencil. I think the key to using the melts is just using a little bit at a time because it does appear to make the color look streaky if you use too much. And it may even lift the color off the surface. Anyway, you guys. That's pretty much all I have to say about this month's Palletful Packs box. It wasn't too bad, but it did get me out of my comfort zone, which is the whole point of me getting these art subscription boxes. I hope next month's box is something exciting. 
Do you guys like using colored pencils? If so, do you like regular or oil-based? Have you tried the melts before? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for stopping by and enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!